Okay, so we're looking at the exponential function and the logarithmic function, and we are looking at different graphs of these. Okay, sketching these graphs, uh, sketching transformations of these graphs, and seeing what happens. So let's start off with um, the, well, y is equal to e to the x, so that we know exactly what that looks like. y is equal to e to the x looks something like this, okay? So here's the x-axis and the y-axis. And then we have y is equal to log x. So I'll do that one in red. y is equal to log x looks something like this, going through 1 on the x-axis. And you should notice that, as I've shown before in another video, that there is a line of reflection in y is equal to x, okay? And this is kind of like the telltale hint, as you will, um, to the fact that these functions are inverse functions, okay? One inverts the other. So they both go through one, but one on the x-axis, one on the y-axis, okay? So they are the original functions, and the original graphs, but what we're going to do is we're going to look at four separate examples. We're going to look at y is equal to 4e to the x. We're going to look at y is equal to 4e to the minus x. We're going to look at uh, y is equal to 4 log x. And we'll look at y is equal to log of 4x. Okay? These are the four that we're going to look at that I've gone through in class. Okay? So, first of all, looking at this first one, 4e to the x, the 4 in front of the function means that the graph has stretched in the y direction by a factor of 4. So, if we look at this new sketch, it will still have the same shape, okay, inherent shape of y is equal to e to the x, but because it's been stretched by a factor of 4 in the y direction, Instead of going through 1, it will now be going through 4, okay? So we can simplify this sketch like so. Now if we look at y is equal to 4e to the minus x, then there must be a connection between these two. I mean, one is 4e to the x and one is 4e to the minus x. And you'll notice that from core 2, the graph transformations, um, that... If I replace x with minus x, then this is a reflection in the y-axis, okay? Because it's the x that is changing. I am changing the x so that all the positive x's become negative, and all the negative become positive. So it flips this graph in the y-axis. So it's now going, still going through 4, but it's going the other way, okay? Now if we look at y is equal to 4 log x, now if we describe this transformation, then like y is equal to 4 e to the x, this is a stretch in the y direction by a factor of 4. So the gra this graph in red is being stretched in, away from the x-axis in both directions. So it'll look so steeper, okay? but it will still be going through 1, okay? Because the original function has been stretched. If I draw on the original function, it's a little bit more tricky to see. The original might look something like this, okay? And then it's been stretched upwards, and obviously downwards as well. Now, the last one, y is equal to log 4x, Now this is also a stretch, but this isn't in the y direction because the, the constant I'm multiplying by is inside the function. So x has been replaced with 4x, so this is a stretch in the x direction by a factor of a quarter. So now it kind of looks, well, it's difficult because they're all going to look like log x when I originally draw it. 
but it's really identifying where it is crossing the x-axis that is changing. So instead of chain, um, crossing the x-axis at 1, because it's been stretched by a factor of a quarter, it is now going through 1 quarter on the x-axis. Okay? So they are the four that I really wanted to show. Um, I might as well do a, a translation while I'm here. Okay, so if I look at E, and let's say I'm looking at Y is equal to, um, let's look at E to the X um, minus 2. Okay, Y is equal to E to the X minus 2. Then this is a translation by the vector... Because x hasn't changed, that's 0, but it's the y that's changed. y has been replaced with y plus 2, so the translation vector is 0 minus 2. So e to the x has been translated downwards by 2, so it will now look something like this. So instead of going through 1, it'll go through minus 1, because it's taking two steps downwards. Now, on this type of question, if this was an exam question, it's likely that we would also be asked to find where is it crossing the x-axis. So that is when y is 0. Okay? So if I add 2 to both sides, then using our understanding of logarithms, um, then log e of 2 is equal to x. So this is the conversion using core 2 logarithms. And log base e of 2 is just ln of 2. So this is ln 2, log 2. Okay? We'll be doing more of this in the next video.